Before the James Harden trade, no one had any idea what was going on with Kyrie Irving. All we knew was that under some strange circumstances, Kyrie suddenly left the Brooklyn Nets in the middle of the season and no one had a good reason as to why. The most we knew was that Kyrie attended his sister's birthday party and that was it. Five entire games went by without any real news, but then, as soon as James Harden was traded, suddenly Kyrie Irving was ready to rejoin the Brooklyn Nets, which honestly to me was no surprise. Because if we take an honest look at Kyrie's situation as a whole here, we find that this entire thing has been suspicious to say the least. One second, Kyrie was playing at an all-NBA level this season, and the next, he was mysteriously gone from the team for an extended period of time, and his head coach Steve Nash apparently had no idea why. Meanwhile, in Houston, James Harden seemed to gain about 20 pounds of fat as he did everything everything he could to be traded from the Rockets, and then, magically, when Harden was traded to the Brooklyn Nets, Harden seemed to lose that fat overnight, and Kyrie? Well, Kyrie returned to Brooklyn and took the court against the Cavaliers as if nothing ever happened. But the thing is, something did happen here, because before the season began, the Rockets made it clear that they would only trade James Harden to the Nets if either Kyrie or Kevin Durant was involved. Then, just a few months later, somehow the stars aligned and wouldn't you know it, the Nets have a big three of Kyrie Irving, James Harden, and Kevin Durant. They got exactly what they wanted, and we know for his part, James Harden tanked his trade value in order to possibly make this happen. Which means the question is, did Kyrie Irving, with his mysterious vanishing act, do the same thing on purpose? So what's up guys, Mike here, and yes, this is a first. We are actually covering an NBA conspiracy just about a week after it happened. That is crazy. Crazy, and we have a whole lot to talk about here, but before we get into everything, I just want to say the goal for 2021 is to hit 2 million subscribers. If you are new to this channel or you're just not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe to help us get to that goal. I am planning on doing a ton of giveaways this year. Trust me on that. I'm actually going to announce one soon, and if you are subscribed, you will automatically be entered into those giveaways. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos, especially the ones where the giveaways are announced. Moving on, before before we fully get into this video and into the facts, I do want to make something clear. This is a conspiracy theory, which means there are some facts and there's a ton of speculation, but there is a chance, of course, that Kyrie Irving was just dealing with a mental struggle here, and I do not want to downplay that in any way. Kyrie takes a ton of crap from the media. You can decide if he deserves that or not. That is not what this video is about. This is a conspiracy theory video that also includes the Brooklyn Nets letting this happen. It includes James Harden in playing his own part. This is not a video that is just about Kyrie Irving. With that said, uh, let's now take a look at the stone cold facts here that do get this conspiracy theory going. Fact number one, not only did the Nets want James Harden, not only did James Harden want to play on the Nets, but the Nets current big three, James Harden, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Durant, all trained together this season as if they were going to play on the same team. And yes, I understand plenty of NBA players that are not on the same teams train together during the offseason, but what made this situation unique was the fact that after training with Kyrie and Durant, James Harden not only demanded a trade from the Houston Rockets, but he demanded a trade to the Brooklyn Nets. That was the official initial report by Mark Berman, as he tweeted out, NBA sources confirm multiple reports that James Harden does want to be traded, but only to the Brooklyn Nets, where he would be reunited with Kevin Durant. That brings us to fact number two, James Harden tanked his trade value intentionally. I'm not even going going to pretend this is an opinion, James Harden knew what he was doing. Yes, you can call this demanding a trade, but he went beyond that. James Harden did not just say he wanted to be traded and let things be, he created a nightmare scenario for the Rockets, which we will talk about combined with fact number three, Kyrie Irving also tanked his trade value. Because when we look at this situation as a whole, James Harden and Kyrie Irving were both playing the same game, just in different ways. In Harden's case, he pulled the typical, I don't want to be here anymore, I'm going to act up until you trade me. We've seen that before with countless guys, the most notable to me being Vince Carter, who actually gave up on the court for the Toronto Raptors in 2005. As if you look here, Vince averaged just 15.9 points per game on 41% shooting in 20 games for the Raptors before he tanked his trade value so much that 
he was able to get traded to the Nets and suddenly for the New Jersey Nets, in 57 games that same season, Vince averaged 27 and a half points on 46% shooting. Guys, I love Vince, but that was absolutely disgusting behavior at the time. At least James Harden didn't give up on the court like that, but he certainly lowered his trade value with his off-court antics as teams like the Miami Heat were no longer interested in trading for him. And before we continue, guys, I am very excited to say that this video is sponsored by Green Chef. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that makes eating easy and affordable because they ship pre-measured, perfectly proportioned, and mostly prepped meal kits directly to your door. I have been stuck in my house and I've been eating a lot more delivery food than I should, so I feel like personally, I need Green Chef. Green Chef has delivered on that front. And you might be asking, Mike, how is that possible? Well, as you can see with the Peruvian roasted chicken I'm cooking right now, Green Chef's expert chefs design flavorful recipes that go way beyond ordinary substitutions. Their dishes are made for a variety of lifestyle meal plans, including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and keto. Green Chef actually gives you simple and easy to follow directions with chef tips and photos to help you out as you're cooking. This has saved me so much time in the cooking process. Plus, I know I could not make a meal as good as this if Green Chef did not help me out. So trust me, guys, I think you're going to love Green Chef and amazingly, they are offering $90 off your first five boxes and free shipping if you go to greenchef.us slash Corzemba90 and use code Corzemba90. The link to this offer will be in the description. Go save $90 off your first five Green Chef boxes and get free shipping by going to greenchef.us slash Corzemba90 and using the code Corzemba90. And now let's get back to the video. Harden went to Lil Baby's birthday party when he was supposed to be getting ready for the season. He threw a ball at his teammate during practice. John Wall and DeMarcus Cousins seemed like they grew a new kind of hatred towards him and top it all off. When none of this worked, James Harden basically went all in on his trade demands with this press conference where he said, I love this city. I literally, you know, done everything that I can. The situation is, is, is crazy. You know, it's something that I don't think can be fixed. So yeah, thanks. After this press conference, enough was enough and the Rockets were done with James Harden. They knew the situation had become unsalvageable and so that's exactly what they did. They again went to seriously look at trade offers only like I previously said, Harden had done a great job of lowering his trade value at this point. Now I'm not saying the Rockets did not get a lot back for trading Harden, they did end up getting Victor Oladipo, they got a ton of first round picks, they did fine for themselves. But remember, before this season began, the Houston Rockets made it clear that Harden had to be traded for Kyrie or Durant or there would be no deal with the Brooklyn Nets. However, at this point, because the front office was simply fed up with James Harden, this was no longer the case and suddenly the Rockets were open to looking at different offers, which was very, very convenient. Because while James Harden was looked at as too much of a risk to trade for because of his off-court behavior, Kyrie Irving became looked at as too much of a risk to trade for due to the fact that he just left his team with what seemed like no real notice and no one had any idea when or if he was going to come back. This is the mystery behind this entire video because honestly, this entire situation was very, very strange. Again, Kyrie gave his team no notice that he was not going to play on January 7th against the 76ers. And when asked about Kyrie's absence, head coach Steve Nash was quoted as saying, I, I don't know. I've sent him a message. Just I just found out. <clears throat> so I just sent him a message on the last half hour and uh haven't heard back yet but um you know obviously thinking about him and hope uh all is well and uh, and it's yeah, it's a private matter. Weird. And as the days went on, things just got weirder. No one, including the Brooklyn Nets, really knew when Kyrie was going to return. It seemed like Steve Nash was absolutely clueless as to what was happening. And so the speculation began to run wild. Some people seriously believed that Kyrie Irving was never going to return to the Brooklyn Nets or to basketball at all. As it resurfaced that in 2017, the following exchange took place on the Road Trippin' Podcast. Kyrie Kyrie. One of my best friends told me that he really thinks that I may become the Lauren Hill of the NBA and just leave early before I even get to my prime. Shanning Fry, the Barry Sanders. Kyrie. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I'm 25, so by the time I get to 10 years in the league, I'll be 29. I'm not gonna say I'm going to be the Lauren Hill of the game, but that's what my best friend told me. I love this game with all my heart, but there's just so much knowledge to be acquired and so much that should be happening, but isn't. Keep in mind, Kyrie Irving is currently 28 years old and so 
show, this podcast exchange set off alarms everywhere. And again, at this point in time, how could anyone really trade for Kyrie as there was just too much uncertainty here? All of Kyrie's previous, well, I don't want to call them incidents or antics or anything like that, but you know what I'm talking about. The flat earth comments, the apparent shade at LeBron, stuff like that. All of that combined with the fact that Kyrie just suddenly left the Nets with no warning at all meant that people were afraid to trade for him. He was now seen as a complete gamble, and when it comes to trading a star player like James Harden, there is absolutely no room for gambling. Suddenly, when James Harden made his biggest move and declared at a press conference that his time in Houston was basically over, the Rockets no longer had the same desire to trade for Kyrie because they weren't even sure where he was. That led to the trade we saw take place, that led to the new big three in Brooklyn, and that has led us to a new conspiracy, one that we may never get the truth of. Because as he made his return with the Nets, the New York Post said it best with the headline, Kyrie Irving lets mystery linger as he makes Nets return. In this article, Kyrie Irving is quoted as saying the following, I take full accountability for my actions. I am back, I am happy to be back, we got some great pieces and we move on and I let my actions and my game speak for itself like I planned on doing. I just needed a pause. The rest of his return press conference was just as vague. Kyrie basically told the media they were not going to get any real answer out of him, which means unless in the future we get more, we have to wonder, did Kyrie Irving really disappear so that the Rockets would not want to trade for him and so that a James Harden trade to the Nets could still go down without him? Well, if that is true and the Nets do end up winning a championship, then this is absolutely crazy and the 800 or so thousand dollars that Kyrie ended up paying in fines for this will be well worth it. So there we have it guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, the goal for 2021 is 2 million subscribers. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. For you, it's only a single click of a button and I appreciate it so much. For everyone who's already subscribed, thank you guys so much. You're awesome, we all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. Make sure to click on one of them. Again, I know you're gonna love it. And other than that, have a great day and peace.